Greetings, everyone, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss topics about the appeal uh, for Robert Sylvester Kelly, where it's going, what's going on, and, and then we throw some old school things in here to get you to think about, you know, um, how all of the stories went down and try to connect everything together. So today, I was going to do a Lisa Van Allen um you know, a commentary, but I decided that I'm going to go a different route. So I want you to listen to this song. But right now, I think this is very important. So let's get started. some mistakes and I have some imperfect ways and I admit I help so many people so many. and I'm saying damn people I admit it was so hard to focus. I didn't go to classes. I admit that I dropped out of school. I admit that I wasn't that cool. I admit I just feel like retired. Admit I just don't feel like trying. But all my real niggas around me keep telling me, girls, fuck that you gotta keep climbing. I admit it, I admit it, I did. I don't fuck with a couple of fans. I admit I'm a gift and a curse. I admit that I don't go to church. I admit it, I made it. I admit it, I did it. I admit it, I did. I admit it, I did it. Let's stop there. He's admitting that he's made some mistakes. He's admitting that, you know, some of the things that he did in his past, he probably regrets. Not just because, you know, he did it, but because possibly he got caught doing it. Um, possibly that. He, you know, wasn't perfect. He was, you know, thrown into this industry at a very young age, just like Michael Jackson and just like all the other young superstars that we know. And as being thrown into a, a world that has no rules, has no moral guidelines, um, all you take with you is what you know. So if you go back to the Solar Coaster uh, book, and I hope everyone has read it. And if you haven't, there's a playlist on here. You can go and listen to it read um, on this channel. But again, if you go back in time, you will see that, you know, his admission here, you know, is something that he's trying to get off of his chest to let his fans know. And, and this, this, this song came at a crucial point in the area of what was going on with the with the cases. So I believe it was while he was awaiting trial because um, he was awaiting trial for a very long time. And I guess the 2008 um, case, I'm not sure when he wrote this. So if you know when this song was written and what was going on in this life, please put it in the comment box below. But let's keep going. Admit I got so many flaws. Yeah. Told so many lies to these pros. Do so much money, pop so many bottles. Yeah, I fuck a bitch just because. Nigga, I had a hell of a day. But I admit I was in my own way. I admit I had my mama crying over me. What else can a nigga say? I admit I can't spell for shit. I admit that all I hear is hits. I admit I couldn't read the teleprompter when the Grammys asked me two percent. I admit I I love God, but wait, it's so much temptation, but wait, admit to the drinking and smoking too much, but it helped me get through the day. He's admitting to alcoholism and just numbing the pain, numbing the pain that came with the industry, you know, doing the things that made him who society thought he was. And to throw in the underage girl thing is more or less the icing on the cake. But the underlying thing was, I don't believe society accepted the fact that he wasn't just a one woman's man. Um, he was a gigolo. He was a, he was a bachelor. Um, this man had, can point in a stage and say, I want this woman. 
and you know you came to see me and um, if I want you, I'll give you my number. And if you want to get with me, you can. It's not like he used his his position to do this. It's just that, you know, you're in the position so you can do this. Um, so when you meet people and you do what you do with them, if you're consenting adults, even younger than the actual person, you have a right to say, I don't want to be bothered now. Please leave. You're dismissed. And most people don't like that. And that leaves a bad taste in their mouth. But it has nothing to do with the individual. He's doing or she's doing what she or he chooses to do. And let's keep moving. Okay, so you've admitted to doing some things that, you know, you couldn't control your sexual pleasures, your desires, you couldn't control them. So what happens is you just go out there and you do it. Um, it's not, it's not a against the law to have sex with your best friend's girl. Um, it is, however, immorally wrong, but you know, morals are based on the value of the individual. It's based on how the individual was raised, what they feel is morally correct. If the alcohol was causing him to just do what he did because he didn't even care, that's what he's saying now. Like, you know, I just did it. Like, I don't care. I did it. So now I think that's what's happening is he was young. He was thrown into a area and space and time where he made his own rules. He became the king. And when you're the king, all the rules go out the window and you create your own rules, not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that you create the the backdrop of how your life is looked at. So let's finish. I admit I trust people too much, trust too much, too much, too much. I admit I can't say such and such, but my lawyers told me settle this. Even though it's bullshit, Kelly protect your career. All these people in my ear. I admit I've been tempted by drugs. I admit that I just need a hook. I admit the devil talked to me sometimes, but the devil's not who I trust. I've been fucked by so many damn managers. Why they push me out front of these cameras? All this music got in catered and now they play me like a fucking amateur. Now, he's been pushed out by managers and told what to do, told how to do it on the legal end of it. So all he's doing is live while he's living his life on a personal level, on a personal end, the managers are behind the scene puppet mastering what the next move is and what is best for him, what is right for him and how this all comes down in the docu-series, every single thing he's speaking about right this moment. It's all going down and it's so ironic that, you know, the managers were maneuvering through this process with him. Um, he didn't really understand what was going on at this time because all of this legal jargon, it was going over his head. So the basic thing is just keep doing what you're doing, Kels. Just keep making music for us. Just keep living your life. Live your best life right now. Live it, live it, live it. And I can see that being done in a professional arena um, with someone of his statue. You know, I can see that being done. Let's listen. I got a life. Cancel my shows, shows, that shit ain't right How they gon' say I don't respect these women when all I've done is represent 30 years Take my career and turn it upside down cause you're mad I've got some girlfriends Hell with this record deal, it ain't worth this shit for real Ain't seen my kids in years, they try and lock me up like hell How much can a nigga take, how much can a nigga break 
Hey. Just wanna do my music, stop stressing me. Yeah, yeah. Please just let me age gracefully. Yeah, yeah. I admit it, I admit it. I admit it, I did. I admit it, I admit it, I did. I admit it, I did. I admit it, I did. They took my gift and they blind me. Where the fuck is my money? Now here come this big ass conspiracy. Still got my fans, that's a blessing. Listen to heaven, just stay on my grind and it's 24 7. And I know my mama Joanne is smiling down on me. I put that on Reverend. Been a grown man since age 11. Mine on the guap since 7. Rest in peace. He's been a grown man since the age of 11. Who can say that? Who can say that they've run their lives from age 11? Six years old, seeing things that he shouldn't have saw. Not getting the counseling, not getting the support, not getting the help. All the grown adults is making him do adult things at that age. Can that be the reason why all of these things happened as they went down? What are your thoughts? To my homie Kevin, I admit it, I admit it, I admit it, I did, I admit it, I did, I admit it, I did, I admit, I admit, I admit, I admit I'm a freak. Used to go to strip clubs every week, but who these niggas trying to say I am? Man, I'm not, and I put that on cheek. I admit I fuck with all the ladies, that's both older and young ladies. But tell me how they call it pedophile because of that shit. That's crazy. You may have your opinions. Entitled to your opinions. But really, am I supposed to go to jail or lose my career because your opinion? Yeah, go ahead. Just the docu-series in itself, he's saying, are you going to use this? Seriously, are you going to use the fact that, you know, I'm doing what I want to do with my life? I'm being with the women that I choose to be with. You know, he wanted to please the world. And and I'm sure many celebrities have had that platform where they were able to please women that in other cases, they never would have been able to please them. However, to call it a, a you know, to say that he created his career in order to get to these women is <laughs> atrocious. It is not it doesn't even make any sense because, again, if he's R. Kelly, he's going to be R. Kelly um, or not um, Robert. Well, if he's Robert Sylvester Kelly, he's going to do what he does in his life, period, point blank. Even if it was basketball that was going to make him famous, he was still going to get where he was going to get. You know, um, it was a gift that was given to him at a very young age. So to say that he created this backdrop to use his career to exploit women. No, I think the career itself created the platform. The managers, the, the, um, the, you know, uh, Sony, I believe they created the platform to allow what happened to happen as far as, you know, open communication to the world. So if anyone's at fault, then I believe Sony would be at fault. What, what's your view? And it's stormy, point your finger at me Turn the world, look at me But only God can mute me I admit that I fired some people I admit that I hired new people I admit that those people I fired Oh, my mama was crooked as people I admit that I don't own my music I admit that I roll on my music Want it back, but they don't wanna do it What the fuck, nigga, I wrote that music I did that bumping ground I I did that 12 play, I did that fed up, I changed the damn game, so I deserve me a fair play, so put some respect on my damn name, now Wendy Williams mad with me, but I ain't never offer her no drink, but I admit that she asked me, can I get a little Hennessy, then we both turned off our phone, we drink, I smoke, we talk, and I admit that I told it all, from my good points to my faults, she said, he tells people what he's feeling and letting things go. Um, there comes a time in life that we believe we can trust the people we do not to go back and to create a conspiracy against us in order to make money for themselves. 
He's had to buy people off because of the fact that he he was building a career and they was interrupting the thoughts. And in order for it to go down the way he wanted it to go down, he bought them off because it was cheaper than for them to come out and conspire against him at that time. And a lot of haters, especially when they've been played and used, you know, I wouldn't call it used. I would call it a a, a a fair exchange. You know what I mean? If you lay down with a superstar and he no longer wants to be with you after that, it's the same thing as you no longer want to be with him. We need to learn how to control the emotional states of, of sexuality. Um, and most mature people don't even know how to control the um, emotions of sexuality, let alone adults. But if you've been an adult since the age of 11, you're going to see sex in a different way. And that's what he was trying to teach these women to be mature, to be um, mature about what goes down. And if you're 17, I'm talking 17, 18. I'm not sure about this 14 year old thing. I'm not even sure that, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know about it. I'm not saying yes or no. But I'm talking about those who are 17 and above. And even with him having the the um, teleprompter saying, you have to be 18 and older. Why does he say that? A lot of people say, why would you need to have to put that on the stage? Well, the question is, why would you approach him if you're underage and he thinks you're 18? So he's not he's not a, a, a private investigator. Maybe he should have purchased one got a private investigator on the team so that way he would have known exactly how old these individuals were when they were coming at him. But I, 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 I just feel, I feel that this, I admit, is good. It's, it's really good and it's setting the stage and it's setting the tone to let his fans know his point of view because he was already muted. He couldn't say anything to anyone. What about Ali? I said love. She said, what about the tape? I said hush. I said my lawyer said don't say no. But I can tell you I've been set up. I admit it how ever since the first day. First day. That without knowing I signed my publishing away. Away. I admit it I was young and caught up. So blind, yeah. So blind. Said I had dyslexia, couldn't read all the contracts, yeah. And now the truth. Now, at that point, that's where his disability was disrespected. And according to the laws of the United States of America, many people must um, have their disability um, connected to something that will They need an interpreter. If you speak a foreign language, you need someone who can understand and support you. He needed that in his in his um employee status he needed an employee to to help him see what he was signing so again his management had really really dumped on him had really really made it difficult for him wow this is so so something thank you Kels for making this song right here Finish message. Cause I'm a broke ass legend. The only reason I stay on tour is cause I gotta pay my rent. I never thought that it would come to this. To being the most disrespected artist. So I had to write a song about it. Cause they always take my words and twist it. Believe me, it's hard to admit all this. But I'm a and that's the reason why Jennifer Bonjean is saying his Fifth Amendment rights will get totally, uh, you know, taken over because they know how to twist his words to make it something that he's not even talking about because they don't understand him. You have to know the man to understand the man. And a lot of people are not in a position to trying to do what they need to do in order to find out who this man really is beyond the superstar to the human being. My feelings about this shit But I had to set the fucking record straight So I admit it, I admit it I admit it, I did it I admit it, I did I admit it, I did it I admit I love Steve Harvey 
John Legend and Tom Joyner, they're doing good in their lives right now. Why would they want to tear down another bro? Women show black men some love. Cause black men, we go through enough. How can we get up off the ground when we steady tear each other down? I admit that the devil is busy. And some people beside me ain't with me. I admit that I'm gonna do this music up until the Lord come and get me. Now, I admit a family member touched me. Touch me, touch me, touch me. From a child to the age 14. Yeah. While I laid asleep, took my virginity. Yeah. So scared to say something. So I just put the blame on me. Now, here I am, and I'm trying my best to be honest. Because there's forces out there trying to keep me from being a. Artist. Oh, I admit I'm at rock bottom, oh, oh. and this shit has rocked my mind. my mind. I'm calling on my hood, come walk by my side. Oh. They don't want me to shine. Women's group, my God. Now don't get it twisted, I do support them, but why they wanna bring down my heart? Why? Damn, this is breaking my heart. My heart. Cause from fathers, mothers, sons and daughters, I'm a part of the music culture. Oh. Spotify took me off the playlist. I admit that I've been underrated. I'm not convicted, not arrested, but drag my name in the dirt. All this work to be successful when you're bending me because of what you heard. I admit I am not perfect. I never said I was perfect. Say I'm abusing these women. What the fuck? That's some absurd shit. The brain Watch. Really? Really? Kidnap? Really? Really? Can't eat? Really? Really? Real talk, that shit sounds silly. Yeah. And if you really, really wanna know, a father dropped her off in my show and told his boy to put her on the stage. I admit that she was over age. I admit that I was feeling her and I admit that she was feeling me. I admit that that's just some shit to come with being a celebrity. I ain't Chasing these ladies, no, no, no. These ladies are chasing me, yeah. And I'm only saying all this shit. Cause how they tryna play me, yeah. I admit that this is no disrespect to the parents. But this is my advice to you, cause I'm also a parent. Don't push your daughter in my face. And tell me that it's okay. Cause your agenda is to get paid. And get mad when it don't go your way. I know y'all look at me like I don't go through things. Things, but I'm human. I'm human. I know it's hard sometimes, but try to keep in mind that I'm human. human. Fuck all the fortune and fame, forget the name. I'm a human. human. I can't believe all the under the table shit they doing. I'm tired of fingers pointed at me. At me. I'm tired of all this weight on me. I'm tired of everybody want a piece of me. Shit, I'm not an ATM machine. What do I do when I? I can't do what I do. How can I win if I can't win with truth? Got a couple of dead homies that I promised I would make it out this shit. Glory. And I know that God's hands is on me, nigga. I'm gonna make it out this shit. No weapon formed against me, man. Shall prosper, amen. I could be Storms over. Amen. I admit I talked to Miss McLean. Yeah. FYI, that's my second mother. I admit that I asked her, how am I gonna get the world off my shoulder? She said, son, don't you lose it. Sometimes you gotta go through it. They can say what they say, but at the end of the day, they cannot deny your music. Cause your music has touched people. It inspires all people overseas, everywhere. Don't worry, don't care. Cause the anointing is on you. And that's why these haters is at you, so just keep on doing you, baby, you don't have to give these fools an explanation, I admit it, I made it, I admit it, I did it, I admit it, I did I admit it, I did it, what's the definition?
definition of a cult? What's the definition of a sex slave? Go to the dictionary, look it up. Let me know I'll be here waiting. Now, I admit I got some girls that love me to pull their hair. They care. And I admit they love me to talk dirty when I pull their hair. They care. Some like me to spank them. Some like to get brain. And what some of these girls want is too much for the radio station. Look, I'm just a man, y'all. Not a monster or beast. But I admit there are times when these girls so fine out there that a nigga fall with. Now I admit I love you, half. Through the years, the poor is you, half. But when he left this world, he had a million girls. But we gon' always love you, half. To Jim Siri, Goddess, or whatever your name is. Whatever your name You've been trying to destroy me for 25 whole years. 25 whole years. Writing the same stories over and over and over again. Stop. Off my name, you done went and made yourself a career. Oh, career. Well, guess what? I pray for you and your family. For you. And all my other enemies. Yeah. Not gonna let y'all steal my joy. I'm just gonna keep on doing me. Now I don't know what else to say except I'm so falsely accused. Tell me, how can you judge when you never walked in my shoes? So easy to mess up someone else's life through social media. The devil in disguise. I admit I miss my brothers, but I admit they wasn't acting like brothers. Yeah, we've had our differences, but you don't turn on your brother. No, for nothing. No, for no one. No, not a no. Mama. No, Joanne. No, it's watching. She must be turning over in her. I admit I miss my. It's watching. She must be turning over in her grave. Yeah. I admit I had to borrow a couple of M's from the label. All these hits out, but I couldn't put food on the table. I was told I had to sell my cars. I was told I couldn't get a loan. Said I owed 20 million to the IRS and they was coming to get my home. I admit I was feeling stupid standing in the Homewood streets. Ooh, disrespect. Sipping in the seat trying to figure out what happened to me. There was so much going through my head. Cause I knew that something wasn't right. I just couldn't put my finger on it. But my spirit had better eyes. It told me what it saw. And it scared the shit out of me. It said get rid of them all. It's nothing but vultures around me. I admit that I love my fans. For all the push and support they've shown. I admit if it wasn't for them. I would have never stayed strong. Now I'm not tripping on all of these rumors that don't bother me. And I'm not paying attention to these haters. Us, that don't bother me But what blows me is when certain people turn phony They say, Rob, I got your back Rob, you the man But they really doubting me Bitch, you know who you are Bitch, I bought you a car Bitch, you stayed in my crib I loved you with all my heart Now, I don't like to brag when it comes to me But I've given back to the community From the non-profits to the charities But of course you never hear that about me To them niggas that drink my liquor And smoke my stogies How come you ain't on Facebook Taking up for me When you're around me most of the day And you know that I'm a good brother Always got your hands out It ain't no doubt that y'all niggas Ain't nothing but bloodsuckers But y'all ain't bringing nothing to the table Yeah nigga and you know it's real talk real talk. Taking pictures with me for your Instagram But when I need you you're quick to get lost can't find you. Mm. Oh, 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 Kids. What you're hearing out here about that? Guys, I'm sorry for this. I'm so sorry, I can't imagine what y'all must be going through. Every day it's something about me, my God. It must be killing you. I promise there'll be better days. Just keep walking straight. I know you must be worried, but just know that I'm okay. For me, things has gotten rough. Right now, I can't say too much. 
much But for y'all I will stay tough Daddy just needs y'all to trust And believe in me I admit that I've told the truth And I still not free They still won't hate me They still won't stone me They still won't chain me They think they won't kill me I admit it, I admit it No disrespect to Chi-Town, my home But we've got to learn how to support our own I admit that my heart cries for my city Cause we're losing young lives in the city Instead of judging me Y'all should be using me To help these kids raise them out of depression and poverty now I'm not saying I'm no savior, but I could be an inspiration, this is an invitation, man I admit I go through so much day to day, got 23 lawyers, 3 or 4 managers, what am I doing, show me the way, the only thing I have left is my voice. And now I have to use it for my protection Because they left me no choice See, my work has nothing to do with my private life So stay the fuck out of my business and tend to your own damn life So go ahead, say what you wanna say About who I wanna date But you won't say that shit to my face Cause you know it ain't shit to say Next nigga bring me some dumb shit It's gonna be a misunderstanding Cause niggas that listen to dumb shit Are niggas that be on that dumb shit They need a life cause they ain't got no life So they always caught you in a dumb shit Lock in my path, they don't know the half It's all they make an assumption Since when do assumptions Cost a man his whole career Found guilty when you're innocent Is the only test I feel There is one thing that's for sure Wow, phenomenal. That is another <clears throat> historical song, just like I Believe I Can Fly. It's no different. The power within his voice is so extremely strong. So I'm going to read some comments here. Pretty Ricky won three years ago writes, R. Kelly is a certified musical genius. No other artist can make a 19 minute song that is so simplistic and yet hold the listener's attention for the whole 19 minutes. Doc Hicks TV, through it all, how many of you are still fans of his past and present music? Mindy Stein, love him or hate him, but you have to admit that this is a musical genius. I admit that I still listen to his music, wondering if anyone else does. Absolutely. Stephen Jones a year ago wrote, damn, I said I wasn't going to listen to the whole song, but I did. Damn, R. Kelly can't take nothing away from your music. Hell, I admit it too. <laughs> Goldie Andrews three years ago, still my favorite artist of all times. Wish I could help get him out, but hopefully my prayers for him are enough. Love you, Kells. May God be with you, my brother. King Cray, four months ago, wrote, Song breaks my heart. Man, I see a lot of the troubles he has in, in myself, and I pray he gets out of his, success, of his situation successfully because public opinion destroyed the perception of him. Yurasa Princess, three years ago, this song was 19 minutes long and I still did not want it to end. It was beautiful. Wow. It made me wish I knew him personally. Absolutely. Carolyn Smith, five months ago, this is his story and it's sad. I feel sorry for him. He admitted everything he had been through. People only listen to him is in his music. The only way people can understand him is through his music is what she meant. 
Cato 216 six months ago. He spoke he spoke nothing but truth in this song, especially when it comes to the parents. They need to be charged. When things didn't go their way, it became a problem. Some others as well. When the money ran out, everyone was gone. And that's how it is, man. That's how it is with our people. <clears throat> it's really sad because it's just sad. Princess Jelly Beans, three years ago, I never knew it could be so hard to love and hate someone at the same time. I cried watching those specials, but I admit I still love and will continue to listen to his music. Devontae Lee says, surprise, this don't have over a billion views um, by now, but the only artists who can be locked up and still drop heat like this here, they can't stop greatness. And Kelly is and will always be the great king of R&B. Fuck the haters. Sarah Slater, five months ago, I admit I still love R. Kelly. I grew up off his music. I admit, I admit, still listen to his music 2021. Yay. I admit, can't no one stop me from loving R. Kelly. This is his song. I admit, I admit, I admit. Love you, R. Kelly. If only I could help him get past this, I would. I admit. All right. So thank you so much for listening, liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. And <clears throat> I really brought this out to just give people um, who may have not heard this, you know, yes, <laughs> some people may have, may have never heard this song. So that's why I put it on R. Kelly Appeal TV, because it has something to do with this appeal. It has a lot to do with this appeal. And um, I do apologize for not researching prior to the video of when the song was written. Let's go do that now, because I was working on the Lisa Van Allen um, interview, but it just didn't hold that much weight for me. So. Okay, guys, so I did a little more research and um, I found that I admit was released July 23rd, 2018. So he was, you know, waiting on trial, um, I believe. Okay, let me see. What was R. Kelly doing in 2018 with the case? What was R. Kelly's case status what was R. Kelly's case status in 2018? Let me see here. 2019. Uh, okay, so he was going through. He was going through it. And so I would like your point of view about what you've heard. Um, if there's anything that could have been left out, what your views are, they're very appreciated and accepted here. We thank you so much for being a part of the R. Kelly Appeal TV um, nation. And we will be keeping you posted on what's happening in the trial as, you know, the appeal process starts back up. Um, it's not going to be much of anything happening right now until possibly, um, I'd say, mm, the mid-May. So I'll keep you posted on some other things that I think is very important for us to piece together to make all this scandal make sense to us. Thank you. God bless you. And as always, keep it 100. And we'll see you next time.